Cursed Hollow once again. And our blue team on the left side, they're called X Griffiths and friends. So many players on that team. And we have Drax playing Sergeant Hammer in the bot lane. Ozzy is playing Tyrande. Javadas is playing Uther. In the mid lane, we have Diablo played by Mac Prime. And in the top lane, it is Inception on Stitches. And on the right hand side, in the red trunks, it is Team Refuse. Five, and starting four, the top lane, three, Godspeed three, is on the Valor one. with the Master Skin. Very cool. Well, it is going to be Arkham on the Malfurion. Noisen playing on the Grim Skull Nazibo. In the mid lane, we are seeing on the Glamrock ETC, it is Toxical. And in the bot lane, it is Konus playing the Rhaegar. And he's facing off against the trip lane. Uh, they're going to realize it. I'm going to stack around for quite some time. I am going to call out your saying trip lane there. Trip lane? <laughs> yep. It is a tri it is a tri lane. A trip lane is a lane full of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Best cast ever. <laughs> Indeed. But now though, we have two tri lanes. Bot lane with, uh, with Sergeant Hammer on the side of X Griffiths and friends. Playing very aggressively with what is technically double support in it. Going to be keeping Sergeant Hammer very healthy with the help of healing wards when they get to level 4. This is a really and strong four. push. Let's yep. have a look the at the other trip lane. Oh, um, in the top lane, Arkham actually already getting hooked in. Stitch is probably the best counter to a tri lane. And But we have Valor and Nazibo up here. They're going for the more damage based lane here. Going to be clearing waves of multi shot and Nazibo's toads. Both lanes just build around pushing as much as possible. Only one team relying very much on Sergeant Hammer. The other team relying on the double damage of Nazibo and Valor. In the mid lane, we see Warriors. They'll be there for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a little bit boring. And I think everyone's just going to stick around in their lanes. Wow. Drax really pushing this lane incredibly hard. Oh, Konos. Caught out a little bit there, but uh, he still has that gate up, so I think it's nothing nothing bad is going to happen for now. Inception, um, hooking onto Noisen here, but his towers are already out of ammo, has no follow-up to this. He has done a lot of damage to Arkham and Noisen, though, did a great job of that. But Arkham, he is out of mana, but once he gets it back, we'll be able to continue healing up his team. Inception, though, already used his fountain. Going to be having a bit of trouble here, seeing yeah. as all the walls are already down much quicker than in the bot lane where they're finally just taking down the gate. And Rick it's a little bit troublesome in Inception. He's gonna miss out on a lot of XP now. He needs support back. And that means uh, noise. Ooh, can God actually speed. do a lot more damage here. Godspeed nearly died. He got into yeah. he fort range and got hit twice and had to vault out. That was a little <laughs> over eager. Down bot lane, uh, they've pushed down the powers, pushed down the gates, and are now going straight for that mana well. So they... It's just face face. Yeah, <laughs> it, it looks really does look like it. Yep, and uh, there is some talent choices that I'd like to point out here. For example, Valor, we saw this build yesterday, going oh, for sure. the extra range build, where basically she knows she's against the Stitches, she knows she's against the Tyrande, two people who can, and against the Sergeant Hammer, two people who can lock her down and do a lot of damage from range. So she's gone for the extra range on all her abilities. Extra range on body shot by 20% and the extra range on puncturing arrow by 25%. This is basically allows her to harass a little better and maybe catch someone out without putting herself at the kind of risk she would be if she was to maybe take the grenades. She can now just drop out two abilities rather than just relying on one. It's yeah, a bit more really, mana intensive, really nice. but it's a lot safer. Really nice range build for her. Uh, by the way, they just picked up the first tribute pretty much for free. That was uh, an excellent move, just a perfect position here for Grimbus. And that's the first fort going down. Let's have a look at um, Mr. Inception over here, but nope, you can't really stop it from going on either. Oh, this is just a base race. Yeah. Who push harder, quicker. But I, I think, yeah, I mean, Grimbus lost a little bit of XP, but not too much. It's like half a level. Um, could become a little bit more dangerous later on, but... What I think is going to happen here is we're going to see the tri lanes move to the mid, both tri lanes go for mercenaries and then move to the mid lane so that they can start pushing down the towers there. And what's going to happen is they're both going to run into each other and we're going to see a really early team fight. <laughs> it's possible. I mean, they're going for the bruises now. Uh, the other triple lane just wants to push mid. Oh, Toxical in trouble, but he just moves away. Nice little dash. Mac Guitar Solo can get back up. Yeah, Itar Solo gets health back. He's gone for the, uh, he didn't go for the Pawn Shop Guitar for the decreased mana. Although, Arkham gets hooked in, but Max Prime tackles him away to safety rather than overpowering him behind him instead. For now though, 
Both teams looking for the opportunity to engage. Healing with Ward is down from uh, Tarande. That's going to be healing up Max Prime, especially thanks to his amplified healing. He's gone for the full tank build. ETC is going to be hanging around. He's going to be the one looking to maybe get the engagement here, but he gets slammed out of his uh, off his mount. Still, yeah, it's not going to stop him. He was already quite low going into that fight, but they healed him back up, which of course means they use a lot of mana. Oh, there hurt. comes the move out to Kronos. A really nice body block, and he should go down. Yes, he does. Max Prime's still in there, but oh, he's stopping for a sec. And does get out of that fight, but they're, not, they're giving chase here still. Even though they have already lost one hero, still giving chase. Trying to stop Max Prime, but he's recuperating here. Yep, Ozzy, one of the best people at denying tributes in the game. He does have both the Sentinel and the Lunar Flare. He was on the other side of the wall. Toxical, possibly looking for the engagement, but does not want to risk it. Instead, just going to use his uh, face belt to Noisen. heal, but it's not going to peel for noise. And melts away, and Toxical trying to give chase here. Except for quite low, so oh, nice Max Prime. Though. He's incredibly low. So much healing. Oh, there we go. Punching Arrow does get him. Godspeed from downtown, able to pick him off. And that is going to be the first tribute over to refuse after what looks like a fairly catastrophic fight once Nazibo got hooked. Yeah, but still, I mean, they, they turned it around quite well. Um, good thing Rega was uh, back in that fight. Yeah, and an incredible route out of Arkham. Really turned that around. Yeah, perfect route. However, that's not going to stop the fact that their mid lane is under serious duress and the level 10 heroics are available for uh, TX Griffiths and friends. Ultimate wise, we're seeing the putrid bile. It's become the most commonplace thing nowadays, unless you really need a situational gorge. There's the hook on the Toxicale, but Toxicale, one of the safest people in the game. Going to be able to dash out. He has his knockback as well, but that both matter would be CC'd. Wow. And down he goes. He gets just smashed away here by Max Prime. One of the really safest people in the game did. <laughs> Yeah, Baal was actually popped by stitches there. I think that might have been a bit overkill. But they got him. Doesn't matter. And but yet the other ultimates, Napalm yeah, Strike, true. Starfall, and the Divine Storm. Currently Diablo has oh, yet to Diablo's choose his ultimates. Still waiting. I like this. A He's great waiting choice. on the other heroics. He's waiting on them. Go for um well strafe is not taken, but Rain of Vengeance instead. Um yeah, and stage dive. And he can now take he can now take lightning breath in yeah. pretty uh, decent security because the only person who needs to be interrupted is going to be Nazibo because there's no way Nazibo is actually selecting Gargantuan unless oh, why he not? is going why to not? mess with us. It happened yesterday. It did happen yesterday, but it did, and they did win the game, technically. <laughs> but uh, technically? I don't think the Gargantuan really helps. Okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no, Diablo can pick it. He's being very patient, but yeah, there's the Ravenous Spirit. And no, he's picked Apocalypse anyway. I think he was literally just waiting for that. Oh, there comes Starfall and Arkham. Already quite low, but he's healing back up. Oh, Toxical completely caught up from his team. There comes the CC. Nice success to heal. Oh, wow. Alive. And there's Godspeed. Steel by Godspeed. Uh, wow, what a move. The Apocalypse was good, though, but it was used far in advance of the Ravenous Spirit going down. However, Max Prime did tackle his way into Noise and to the Diet. However, he gave his life for it. And now we are seeing X Griffiths retreating, but in comes ETC with the stage dive. He's harassing Ozzy. Ozzy getting stunned out. Godspeed diving in with the aggression what and takes move. him down. Refuse. They are on fire right now. They have the boss pushing down bot lane and he's going for the steely on the bruiser camp. Now that Tyrande and Diablo are down. What a move. Refuse. Not bad. That's <laughs> such a lack really awesome. start. They're really turning this around. Yep. Really making a good choice of their talents. Diablo, I actually would have preferred to see him just go for the lightning breath here. He need, mm. His team could have used the extra damage, and it doesn't really make a difference Destroyed. using the Apocalypse. He did actually get pretty much everyone with that Apocalypse, but the damage, I think, would have been more helpful. His team was already doing a good job of denying Nazibo, and he did it himself just with the tackle to the face. Yeah, especially with these really tight-knit situations here, where everyone's basically in the same spot. That's where lightning breath really shines. Uh, looks like they can grab their boss without too much trouble. Um, your their boys was pop, but not really in position to to stop them. Yep. And uh, speaking of uh, ice bolt, we were talking about earlier, Nazibo is actually taking it. And now that's quite cool. I don't think that ice bolt interrupts Ravager Spirit, so I think he could pop it, but then not control it while he's in it. So he could pop ice bolt to inter to block the. Apocalypse? I'm not 100% sure if that's true, but we'll find out. Diablo, though, 
countering this, he's taken the increased range on his Shadow Charge. Some of the other talents, Feral Lunge on Rhaegar, just a little bit of extra burst damage. And the Life Seed coming from Malfurion for the extra heal. Oh, Toxical, toxic. a little bit of position. Of power He's coming out. Yeah. yeah. So if you Last Gate also. Yeah. Also doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just vaulting away. Yeah, vaulting and that's good to pile, basically. The piece of pile there used up with very little effect. Yeah, not at all, to be honest. I mean, that was a little preemptive. And um, ooh, Noise had a really nice position up there, but incredibly dangerous as well with Inception still having a soak available. Uh, Arkham getting pulled in. And he's pulled in again, completely out of position down there, but he's trying to heal back up. Coming in from all sides, there's the Apocalypse, and it hits quite well. Turning this fight around one more time, pushing back, but Vax still in there. So far, no one has dropped. And Moisen dropping quite low, there comes the heal, and it comes in in time. Looks like they can make their, make their getaway, but they're gonna lose out on this tribute, and with that, will be cursed. Yep, having a backup, and like you said, that Apocalypse really turned that fight on its head. We have to take back basically ex everything we said, because that turned the fight in their favor. Lightning Breath may have had the same effect, but the CC did interrupt the Ravenous Spirit and save quite a few lives there. Very well played there by Diablo. For now, X Griffiths going to be pushing down the mid lane, going to be taking, doing as much damage as they can. We can also see that uh, basically a lot of the abilities are being tailored around interrupting this Nazi bow. We have the Lunar Blaze coming out of Tehran. They mean the Lunar Flare has an extra 50% range. And Stitches has gone for the increased Archon Slam. This means he's going to be building into the mini stun when he hits level 17. Still both teams quite even still. Um, one more fort uh, down on the uh, side of Griffiths. But that's about it. And they have a little bit of an XP advantage, but not too much. So I can still see Refuse take turn this around. Oh, Toxical going straight in there, but he gets the Ancestral Heal, he stays alive, and now jumps on top of Strax, pushing Ozzy away too. They're not really focusing down on anyone right now. Uh, trying to find that target, Max Prime trying to turn this around, and Toxical has to step back. Yep, Toxical getting huge healing. Oh, he's going to stage dive. He lands it onto two people, but instantly gets knocked around with the stun. But there's a Divine Storm. Doesn't stop EDC going down, though. Ravenous Spirit from the back trying to take out Ozzy. Ozzy will go down to this. We are seeing... Drax is in trouble as well. Great. Looks like the tournament round. And the hell oh. is coming in. Drax can't stay in here. No, he's Prime. trying to land Zombie Wall. He's going on to Inception, trying to pick him off. Zom oh, frogs Max coming out. Prime Max Fire goes down. Rax is completely out of position, but it's only Coda's chasing him. Noise is instead going on to Savantas and does take him down. And another fight going the way of Team Refuse after a great stage dive. Yeah, I mean, they, they start out a little weak in these fights, but then they make the perfect decisions to turn them around. And now, I think they're going to go for a Bruiser Steal and let's see. Maybe the boss, 12 seconds. I think they're going to do it. 20 seconds on Uther and 13 on Diablo. That would be a perfect time for them to steal the boss. It, it'll be very tight. Ufa would be able to try and make it there in time. I don't think they'll take the risk. They're thinking about it, uh, but it is a very risky yeah, move. It was the move. Either go for the bruises or the boss. And even so, even if you would have gone for the boss straight away, um, they still have to wait for 10 seconds. So risky either way. Yep, this is true. For the moment, though, we're actually going to see X Griffiths scouting out their boss, the far side. Sorry, that is a that's a clairvoyance, not a far sight. Taking clairvoyance over cleanse is a bit risky as well. But uh, taking the taking the far sight here allows them to see that there's no enemies at their boss. However, the far sight coming out from Rhaegar does see that uh, X Griffiths are hanging around here and sees them starting the boss. So now, if they want to, Refuse can roll in here and attempt to steal. It's already at half health, so if they are, they need to be quick. There's the owl that demounts them, and that may buy them enough time. Because of the fact that they're not mounted to take the boss. It's very close to dying. Kona's diving in. Mosh pick! Sorry, stage dive comes in. He oh. charges forward. Where's the face now? Face now knocks back. And there comes the apocalypse, interrupting a lot of abilities. I'm pretty sure it did interrupt Nazi Bow's ult. Yes, it did. And now huge damage coming out. Toxico is just standing on the circle, trying to stay alive. He has tranquility on him. And that's going to be the steal. That's the take second it. steal. Goes down. Second steal in a row. What the heck? And it looked like they were so incredibly safe. And now two heroes down. That's a free tribute for them. And the boss. And the mercenaries. Wow. This is going to be trouble for Griffiths. And here it goes. Here it goes. They're going to go for one fort and for the keep at the same time. And, and there's the boss down here. Red team. 
Yep, that was great. Stage dive onto the point he had onto the uh, golem point. Was able to knock back, was not able to get the instant steal there, but his team came in perfectly. Even though Nazibo's ult was interrupted, Tranquility able to keep EGC alive in the circle while Valor was just dealing huge damage to any of the potential targets. Sergeant Hammer went down far too quickly to deal with the kind of damage he needs to be doing. Very, very well played. Still very much active down here. Got rid of the walls, got rid of the towers, and is now going for the keep. And looks like they're rotating up. Looks like they want to go for the keep. Only Diablo is in position to defend this. And Sea Chines will be taken here. Curse is still lasting for another 20 seconds, so if they want to, they can really maximize on it, but they're going to play it safe, go for their own boss. Uh, meanwhile, the boss did go down, but so did the keep. That's two keeps down. That's two keeps and a fort down in one curse. That is yep. insane. Now they are going for their own boss, like you said. They were actually able to dodge the owl to deny vision. Like, Vala just moved away when she saw the owl coming. But the clairvoyance coming out of uh, of Ufa did see them doing it. And the owl also got them vision. So they knew it was happening. Nothing they could do about it, though. That's so many mercs under the control of Team Refuse. I um, mean, boss, now the bruisers. Let's see what they're going to do with this kind of eager. I mean, they two levels ahead right now. Um, still they a little bit too kind of far from level now. 20. Yeah, I think so too. Um, you have to deal with the boss. I think it's going to be just, maybe just uh, backdoor. Well, they're going to uh, grab their, they're going to grab the watchtower and instantly get owled. Yeah. <laughs> nice sentinel. Yeah, okay, that's boss is still still pretty active. on point. It's just, even with the bonus damage, it's doing very little. I think the boss just oh. by itself could actually do this. Noisen was hooked, but no real follow-up possible. Now there comes the Rain of Vengeance, but from missing completely. Starfall uh, played out defensively here quite to quite a good extent. So much aggression. He he's 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 there is no mini double stitches. He did take fishing hook instead. He's gonna have to buy it out of there as he did get dropped a little low, but he gets the fishing hook onto Toxical, and they're trying to pick him off. And Toxical is just getting bullied here, but he can so tank, he can just tank everything right now. He is charging forward, Inception gets moved. Toxical does get stunned by Ufa. He's having to back up and wait for a bit more healing from his team. Noisen getting engaged upon though, but Toxical was also engaged. Ravenous Spirit to Noisen. Noisen is incredibly but... low. I think they might oh, get ice him, block. but the Ice Block, it's helping. The it's Ice Block is safe up there. But yeah, once again, no one died. A lot of people went very low, but everyone did manage to survive. Just perfect control out of both teams. Uh, stay in there and still control this fight without yeah, without dropping low. I mean, um, I also have to point out Rhaegar here. His timing on Ancestral Hill is just packable. Yeah, he's been very, very solid with it all game. We're seeing a lot of very, very good Rhaegars lately. Like, there's yeah, been sure. pretty much everyone's been on point. Sheep, for example, yesterday, very on point. Konus this game has been solid all game long. But now though, we are seeing Refuse heading into the enemy jungle once again. Going to be stealing their Bruiser camps. Meantime, Tribute is going to finally go the way of uh, x Grips and friends. Uh, but it's, it's a free Tribute. It's the first one. It doesn't really matter all that much. And they have to just watch out for the back door. Oh. They're level 20 now. Speaking of back door, they're oh. actually coming in from behind. We saw the blip. We saw the engage from Coxical try to get in there. He blinked forward to get that engagement. And the root goes down onto so many people. Inception fights the dust. The star oh, fall and just the in there. Nice CC. He gets all of them. But it doesn't really matter. He can't make his getaway. Ozzy also caught out. Can they go for the final blow on him? Uh, maybe oh, maybe with a stage dive. And Max Prime. Down though. to Max Prime. Ronda was taken off, and nevertheless. And I think they can actually overpower Max Prime here as well. Uh, he uh, won't make I, a comeback. I think they could, but I don't think they should. They're going to do it anyway, but they should have just gone for the core, I think. But now they're just going to do that anyway. 40 yeah. seconds for Tarande, 27 for Stitches. That's the quickest they have. Only Drax and Diablo alive. Diablo did revive. So they're just going to go for the core. And that will be GG. And we're going to be seeing Refuse move on to play... Uh, uh, Matt Corps in the finals. They're going to oh, make it. And what a game it was for them. Didn't start out so well, but wow. Epic fights, really good comebacks. Team Refuse on top of their game tonight. Very Look at much that so. massive stash inside the core. I never saw that before. It got changed in the most recent patch. Ah, that's why. Yeah. Lots of gold <laughs> in there. Yeah, it got changed from a crystal to a Nexus coin as well. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool.